So here we are uh, in a new course and what we'll do is turn editing on and first of all add a survey. There are a number of different survey types that you can choose and we're going to work through uh, each of those or the main ones. So the first one I'm going to choose is critical incidents which is in fact uh, probably the, the simplest of all the current survey tools that are available in there. So we would put a, uh, a nice clear description of this particular activity, perhaps why we're asking people to fill this in right now and how it could be used. That's all we need to do for a critical incidents type survey. The other settings are, you'll recognize these from various different modules within Moodle, that the normal module settings, restricting access and tags. So we can save that and let's return to the course and we'll see that um, survey has been put in there. Turn editing off. So now we'll switch to a student view. You can see we're logged in as a student here, Sylvester. He's entered the course. He can see the critical incident survey. So he would click on that. He would fill this in with various text, uh, his well-considered and reflective answers on all these things. Uh, hopefully we're gathering more useful information than I'm putting in there. Click here to continue. We get a nice screen just saying thanks for completing the survey and the, the user's name and they can continue on. If they then revisit that survey, just in the same way that you might revisit a quiz, for example, uh, Sylvester will see his own responses to that. So he can, he can go back and review what he actually said, perhaps at the beginning of a program, after a, a number of weeks or months, he'll be able to uh, revisit this and see what he originally thought. Back in the teacher view, I've got a critical incident survey that we set up earlier. So this is the one we've just completed, but we have one from earlier. And uh, this is quite important because it's not until you have results in a survey that it really starts to make sense for the uh, teacher. So where the student could see their own results, a teacher can actually see all the results. That kind of makes sense. So here we can see uh, on the questions, tab or the questions link, we can see the answers that were given by uh, the different students of the class all sort of grouped together so we can analyse perhaps whether there's anything specific that uh, was flagged up by a number of, of students at the same time. We can look at individuals so we can actually pick an individual and drill down into individual answers. It is worth noticing that if you do drill down into an in individual to see their responses, that as well as seeing their responses, you can actually add some private analysis and notes yourself that may uh, address some of the concerns that are in there from this particular student. That isn't immediately obvious. Perhaps it's a little bit hidden away at the bottom there. And quite usefully, we can download those results so we can download them as a open document format for, for LibreOffice and OpenOffice, obviously Excel, and also as a um, text format, just a simple CSV type file. So that is the simplest version of the survey module, critical incidents, just a number of very simple questions, gathering data. You could, in fact, use the quiz module to do something very similar. Um, and perhaps even uh, ask a couple of extra questions in there. So that might be a bit more flexible. Um, you could also use, you know, a plugin such as the questionnaire module or indeed the feedback module would be very good for this as well. So the critical incident survey, very simple, very straightforward. Um, but because of that, you should be, you know, perhaps considering inclusion within your course. We will look at the other survey types in the following movies. <laughs> <laughs>